It is March 28th, the second Saturday that the governor shut down all restaurants uh, for dine-in and it, they became carry-out and delivery only. Today was really busy, which was a good thing. We learned a couple hours ago that Pizza Hut, which is literally 800 feet away from us, was closed this evening. Now, we're not sure if it was for something that happened, like they had an oven go out or something that's going to be fixed tomorrow, or if it's something that they're doing long term because of the pandemic that we're having. So all the customers from all of our competitors in town that may be closed might choose us, at least to give us a try once, and hopefully they like us, and then they keep coming back because we're more consistent in the competition. Delivery and carry out is seen as an essential service, so we're allowed to be open. Uh, obviously, we're taking extra precautions with making sure everything's sanitary, wiped down. A lot of bleach going on around here. Our weekly sales are gonna be up maybe 10% from last week, but it's still not as busy as like our fall, October, football season. People, it's starting to get cold, so people are packing out the pounds. They have like their summer bodies. You have school going on, you have fall sports. Now, next week is totally different. Every week's different. You might have something that happens next week that changes everything, and it might not even be related to the pandemic that we're having. Friday, I believe the House and the Senate passed the $2 trillion stimulus bill. There's a ton of things for small businesses in there. You can get small business loans that convert into grants if you meet certain criteria. And I'm interested to learn a lot more and see how it plays out. Numbers are okay. I'm happy. Uh, keeping people working. That's kind of what it's important around here.